YA novel horror thing, English JN. Wow. Okay. Can you tell I haven't done this in a while? Yep. YA horror mo movie. This is a book. This is a book. All of a sudden it's just like, I'm freaking crazy lady. Oh my god, what's up? Let's exercise this bitch. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a book review of the book The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I absolutely love this book. It was insane and totally like, what the heck did I just read? It was insane. It's a YA horror novel. It's the first horror novel I've ever really read. I haven't read any like Stephen King or anything like that, so I'm counting this as my first. But it was really good. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Our main character is Sophia and she is constantly switching schools because of her mom who works in the military. So when she's at her latest school she doesn't really expect to make many friends. But the three popular girls, Riley, Alexis, and Grace, take her under their wings and basically bring her into the group. Another girl in the school, Brooklyn, used to be friends with them, but now the three girls have decided that Brooklyn needs help and needs to be saved. Riley, who is the head popular girl, decides that the only way that Brooklyn can be saved is to perform an exorcism on her. Pretty much the entire book is all about how these four girls are performing this exorcism on Brooklyn. I'm gonna stop holding it up now because I'm super lazy, but ooh, ooh, maybe I can like, put it right here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now you guys know what book I'm talking about. <laughs> Why I never thought of that before, I don't know. The book was pretty gory, and I'm like pretty bad with gory stuff. I kind of like get really queasy, and I was just like, girl, girl, you are insane. Why are you doing this? You need to chill out, my friend. Chill out. But it was actually really entertaining and I really, really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say that it's actually scary. Like, I wasn't sitting there under my covers like, oh my god, this is terrifying. It was more like, oh my god, these girls are freaking insane. I did stay up till 4.30 in the morning just so I could figure out what happened because, like, you can't put it down. Once you start, it's like, you have to keep going. Like, I read the book in one day because I was just like, Pew! The book was basically Mean Girls mixed with a little bit of Satan. It was actually really good and basically Sophia is Caddy, Janice is Brooklyn, Damien is Charlie, and then Riley, Alexis, and Grace are Regina and Karen and Gretchen. So really it was just Mean Girls and the author actually made a reference to Mean Girls which I found hilarious. Basically, she was like, most girls would just start a burn book instead of, you know, exercising their friends. You would think that Sophia would not be the only girl who's like, you know what, Riley? Maybe, maybe we should not tie this girl up into our basement and exercise her because, you know, I feel like it might be a bad idea. Maybe. No? No, just Sophia? Sophia's only normal? Okay. Okay. We'll go with it, Sophia. Good for you, though, Sophia. Like, they just be crazy these days. Damn. And I just thought it was funny because it's literally Mean Girls with Satan just thrown in there. It was great. It was great. I found the characters to kind of fall a bit short for me. They didn't really have any personalities. They were just kind of there. But I did like how this when the story progressed, you kind of learned more about each of the girls' past. And it was it was like no personality, just like you're insane. But I really liked what you found out about Sophia and her past because it like kind of tied the whole book together. It was kind of like a mind blown thing like what just what what just, what did I just read? I don't know. I don't know what I just read. Overall it was a very very fast read. I read it in one day. I found it really entertaining. The writing style wasn't the best but it kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time which is what I like in books. I like not being able to put them down. So that was super awesome. I did not see the ending coming at all. I was literally reading and I was like, wait, what? Wait, what? And then I was like, okay, uh, that th it can't end that way because what what is life right now? Overall, I really enjoyed the book. I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I would definitely recommend it if you are just getting into horror because it wasn't really scary. But if you don't like gory stuff, maybe stay away from it because it's kind of like really queasy. But like I have a pretty weak stomach with that stuff, so it depends what you can tolerate. But yeah, overall, super awesome book. I would definitely recommend it. And I will see 
you all in my next video. Goodbye. Each choked on my nose, fit a little bit, I'm fine. I, 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 Okay, get to the torture. Why? Why do you do this?